Hey guys, my name is Nick and welcome back to the channel and in this video we are continuing the Death Guard Demonic Pass of my new army and this we are going to be focusing on the Nurglings. So in this video, a complete walkthrough, talk through, paint through of how I am painting my Nurglings. A lot of similarities between this video and the Plague Bearers because they're, you know, demonic and they're going to share a lot of similarities in that paint style. Um, but without further ado, let's crack straight into the video. So because they're sharing some similarities with the Plague Bearers, we're going to start off with a very similar uh, wash with Serapim Sepia. And this is going to be thinned down by my uh, Vallejo uh, Glaze mixture, which is very similar to the Lamia Medium from Games Workshop. So about, about a 3 to 1 ratio-ish, I would say. Uh, play around with it and, uh, and get your mixture as suitable as you want. The more glaze you put in there, the thinner the transition or the thinner the colour glaze is going to be and obviously the more serapim you put in there the uh, the thicker it will be and you can always add more layers as you see fit. So once that's all dried this is the kind of thing that I've now got. So all this big stack of nurglings are all now glazed in that uh, thinned down wash. Um, but to be different from the plague bearers I needed I wanted to be a little bit different and trying to push a bit more of the green theme. So here I'm going to be using a similar kind of thinned down version of Athonian Camo Shade, which is the green wash from Games Workshop. So thinned with that um, Vallejo Glaze Medium again. And I'm just going to pick out uh, a few of the Nurglings, not all of them, just just a few of them, just so that there's a green hue amongst uh, several of its contingent. And uh, just randomly pick these out. There's no specific ones that I've gone for. And as you can see, after a couple of coats of that, um, you end up with something like this. So you can see some randomness, a little bit of variety, not all looking the same, not looking like the Plague Bearers. They do look a bit more a bit more nurgly. Um, and that just gives that uh, little bit of difference between each of the models. Now, while everything's drying, I, I try to keep things moving concurrently. Um, I thought at this time it was an appropriate time just to put down the um, the textured base paint that I've been using. So this is a, a Vallejo project as, a product as well. Exactly the same from the Plague Bearers videos that I've done, so it's just, everything's going to obviously match with the basing. And it's quite good because of the uh, the pigment or the uh, um, the stuff in it that makes it sort of a rough surface. It blends it that uh, bit of plastic that you get on the bottom of the nurglings, so you don't see that sort of defined line. And uh, just leave that to sort of dry, and everything starts to begin to dry, so all the washes and glazes and everything. And once that's all done, we can now go back to uh, painting in some of the detail. And there's quite a few bits of detail, but I'm going to be following exactly the same styles as the Plague Bearers here. So going with a gory red uh, for the guts and all the entrails and all the tongues and everything else that these little uh, these little guys have got. And as you can see, that's exactly what we're going to move to. There's lots of entrails and, and things. The more I look at these, the more that makes me uh, makes me laugh because the, the modelling on them is actually really quite funny. They've all got these weird little... Uh, savage grins on their faces and their tongues all sticking out and they're holding their guts out like that guy on the far right hand side there is pulling out his intestines um, it's quite grim but it is quite funny all at the same time so but again for consistency and look across the army uh, with the demonic side of things it's always good to try and keep a similar palette but just try and vary things up so uh, it just sort of gives that cohesive feel to the army so all the guts, all the tongues, everything else like that is all going to be painted in this uh, gory red colour. There we go, just picking out a few more bits. There's some scabs and sores and things all over these little guys' backs, but just make sure you sort of pick out anything that looks uh, like it should be red, anything that's a bit of gut. So as you can see on the back there, there's all these little red sores and pustules and things like that, so that's exactly what I've picked out with that colour. Now all those little nodules and stuff, now with the Plague Bearers I made them look bruised and damaged. With Nurglings, not kind of, uh, they're not made from the same thing. So all I've done is just made sure that I've gone over these with a, a darker shade, just so they stand out, rather than going for the, the bruised effects uh, that I did on the Plague Bearers, which look like they may have been mortal or human or something at some point, and now been warpized into into Nurgle's uh, clutches. And all this does, as you can see, those, those little spots and pustules and things, it just just enhances them with a with a neater. Uh, wash around those so you can pick those out just like I've done there and you can see them all sort of all looking pretty pretty grim and boil like and stuff all over these little Nurgle bases. So we can now move on to the next stage and exactly the same again as the Nurgling so anything that is red and all the mouths in this case is going to be given a non-oil uh, wash 
And what this will do is it will darken down the reds. It will give some uh, depth to all those wounds and sores and guts and everything else. And painting it into the teeth, because the teeth are sort of quite pronounced, all this does is sort of darken in the back of the mouth so it doesn't look like it's part of the, uh, the green, as it were, of the skin. So it gives it a little bit of depth and the teeth will automatically stick out because the wash will go into the recesses and leave the teeth all sticking out. Uh, which is which is a nice simple way of doing it. Now you can go over the teeth again if you wanted to sort of highlight them up once the wash is dry. But for me I didn't feel that was overly necessary. If you just put the right wash in and make sure it didn't stick to the front teeth then you were going to be good to go. So it's just a case now of just putting the, uh, yeah, the wash all into the mouth. As you can see there's another little mouth at the front. There's plenty to do here. Uh, plenty of uh, little gaping smiles from these little fellas. And then then with all the guts and everything else just painting that in and pushing it around all those little edge recesses and then you end up with something like that which is out of focus uh, there we go that's a lot better let's put it into focus on my on my macro lens um, doesn't focus too closely um, and there you go so you can see the skin and all the details are all now beginning to come together and there's not really a lot left to do on this uh, on this base really it's just some Details on the horns and finish the basing off and we're pretty much there. So what we're going to do now is while other things that oil wash is dry, the, the oil wash, the null oil wash is drying, I can actually go on and start doing the uh, the base coat on the on the base itself. So this is a charred brown, so a really dark brown. Again, exactly the same as the plague bearers to tie all my armies in. Uh, I always base them exactly the same, and I'm sure you guys do as well. And uh, so I'm just taking opportunities of why things are still drying uh, to keep progress on the model and then just uh, get this base coat down over that textured paint. And once we're done, we end up with something like that. And you have to be a bit careful around some of the toes and feet and things on these guys. They, they see, you don't want to use your bigger brushes all the time. Uh, just switch to a smaller brush when you get into the toes and some of the more complicated little areas that are underneath them. So we can now move into the eyeballs. And again, just for a bit of commonality between these and the Plague Bearers, I'm painting them exactly the same. And that's using a Vallejo Sun Yellow and just picking out the little dots on the eyeballs at this stage. And this is all going on, again, while that base paint is still drying. You can see it a little bit shiny on this video uh, just because it is still, still wet. Now everything should be dry. So everything is now good to go. We can move on to the next stages. So all we're going to do now is just highlight up all those red sections with a bloody red. So a nice bright red like Wild Rider Red from Games Workshop will do just as well. And all we're going to do is yep, just pick out all these little red details. And while we're doing that, you can see all those teeth. You can see the teeth in those mouths, especially the one by my left thumb there that looks like it's... Uh... Yeah, you can see sort of that screaming mouth he's pulling out of his belly. And you can see that big red tongue and all the teeth but everything else remains dark, which is exactly the whole point of the Nuln Oil Wash. Now, while that red is now drying, the highlight red, we can go back to the eyeballs and shade these with Cassandora Yellow. And all this does is put that sort of orange glow into the back of the eyeballs and give it a nice little piece of depth. Make sure you pick out all the eyes. There are quite a few. Some of these guys have got three eyes, some have got one eye, some have got, uh, yeah, normal eyes, really, two eyes. As you can see, there's a whole mix and match of different types of eye. I've just uh, applied the same effect to all of them. Uh, again, while things are still waiting, I've just decided to put the first coat round on the rim of the base, and this is a uh, brown earth colour from Vallejo. This is actually just called Earth, I think. Um, yeah, exactly the same, just matching in to the rest of the army. So just at this point, you know, just give it a quick first coat. It does take sort of two coats to go around that, and once we're done, that's exactly what we're uh, we're left with. Now again, everything is now dry once more. And we can move in to gloss varnishing all those guts and tongues. So everything that was red that you've done before, so it's been uh, done with the uh, red gore, then the known oil, and then the bloody red. When, once everything's then dry, we just gloss varnish that so it looks all slimy and uh, intestinal. Again, exactly the same technique from the Plague Bearers. I know I keep harping back to the Plague Bearers, but there's a lot of overlap in some of the style here, which which is befitting when you're making a thematic army. So the last thing we really need to do on the actual models is just touch in at the edges of the, all the horns. Um, so all I'm doing is just tip, tipping the end of the horn in a bit of black. And what I actually do, which I haven't caught on video, is blend that bit of black 
with a bit of bestial brown into the bone colour that's below it. So just a little bit of added transition. And as you can see, this is, they, these things are really quite small and some of them are blended into the actual body of the model which are difficult to pick out. But once we're done, we end up with something like that. So uh, it just adds that little extra bit of detail and then you know you can see where all the little uh, heads really actually form. It's quite a simple little thing to do. And as I said, I did merge these with a little bit of brown which you'll see in the pictures at the end of the video. So while we're doing that, we can then just dry brush on the khaki color which is what I'm using to highlight up that bestial brown well, the charred brown, sorry, that's on the base. Uh, just a standard dry brush, just pick out those little raised bits from the uh, basing texture paint, uh, front and back, and then we are good to go. And then once we are done, we end up with these, and this is the fully finished models. So all I've done now is apply my special uh, basing material, which if you catch my Plague Bear video, you know is actually hedgehog food. These are genuinely real millworms and little bugs and I think that's quite fitting for Nurgle basing. And as you can see those little horns, you can see those little bit of brown between the black and the bone colour just to sort of blend that in so that it transitions a little bit nicer and you can see that I've done not just that one base for the video but I have now completed six all following the exact same recipe as you can see they are evil mad looking dudes aren't they really? Um, and I do have another group of these. I will be adding another three to this force. So I've got a total of nine. Um, but yeah, you can see that I've completed two squads of three or one squad of six, however you want to put them together. And uh, I think you can see all the different random shades of green and the uh, where I've picked out different models on different bases. It just sort of mixes the unit up. Some of them look a bit pale. Some of them look in between. Some of them look green. Some of them look darker green. And I think that's the real cool thing about demons is that they don't have to be uniform. They're not the Emperor's finest. They're not ultramarines with their polished armor. They do need to look a bit random and a bit a bit weird. And that's what makes de demons cool. That makes, makes them demonic. And that's what makes me really like them. But there we go. That's the end picture. So there we go then, guys. That is the first lot of Nurgling bases for my demon slash plague marine army my death guard force um yeah quite quite good fun to paint quite simple to paint which is always good anything that involves lots of multiple washes rather than lots of paint transitions and so on is definitely a lot quicker um you can see there i've used sort of three three different shades uh, several different depths so that you can get more or less color control more opaqueness with the uh, color so some of them can be a darker lighter and so on whichever suits your style and uh, suits your army really and this was the style that I went for so it's a bit of a hybrid kind of thing it's gonna you know my death guard are gonna be more green than they are sort of the creamy color that's doing the rounds at the moment and my plague bearers and all the de demons gonna be a bit lighter and the nurgling sort of transition between those so that's gonna be um, just makes it good fun makes it a little bit of variety and but still maintains that coherency across all of the army with a lot of uh, similar colors on the palette and that is that is key to uniformity even with the unit diversity that um, demons and plague marines and so on have but i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you learned something new uh, if you did don't forget to like comment and please subscribe it would be much appreciated and until then i shall catch you guys on the next video